OV raptors and dung beetles are among the first creatures you typically tame in Ark Survival Evolved, and for good reason. These creatures play a crucial role in your gameplay, especially in the early game. You need them to produce eggs for kibble, which in turn is vital for taming many high-level dinosaurs. Additionally, dung beetles provide you with valuable fertilizer for growing vegetable and berry plants in crop plots. These steps are essential to progress from early game to mid or even late game. Without kibble, you won't have good dinosaurs, and without eggs and veggies, you won't have kibble. With the recent changes to these two creatures in Ark Survival Ascended, Studio Wildcard has truly outdone themselves when it comes to making quality of life improvements for the players. The changes to Oviraptors and Dung Beetles in Ark Survival Ascended are simply fantastic and make daily life in the game so much less grindy. Both of these creatures have undergone significant transformations in the game and after watching this video, you will be eager to go out and tame both immediately. In the previous game version Ark Survival Evolved, you had to constantly set over raptors to wander to boost egg production. This could be a bit tedious because you had to weigh them down with stones and still manually collect all of the eggs. But now in Ark Survival Ascended, they receive an upgrade. You can simply place them in your base and they will automatically collect fertilized and unfertilized eggs, storing them in their inventory. You can also filter which eggs they should leave behind so they won't snatch your fertilized eggs while you're trying to hatch them. This is so much more convenient. Depending on their level, they can cover a huge area up to 9000 Unreal units according to the dev kit, which is roughly equivalent of about 30 foundations. To reach this maximum range, they need to be at least level 400. As for dung beetles in Ark Survival Evolved, you had to constantly set them to wander and ideally put them in a cage, manually adding poop into their inventories. It was a task nobody enjoyed, but now in Ark Survival Ascended, they function like as if they were straight out of S+. They automatically collect poop without having to worry about anything. Depending on their level, they can cover a vast area up to 5000 Unreal units, which is approximately 16 foundations. This applies to dung beetles with a minimum level of 225. Anything lower will have a smaller radius. This means once you have your first dung beetle in the base, fertilizer won't be an issue anymore and you can quickly start gardening and with the oil you can produce your first gasoline, a crucial step towards becoming an industrial powerhouse in Ark Survival Ascended. But where do we find these creatures? Oviraptors are practically everywhere. You often encounter them on the beach or in the lush green areas. Sometimes in the woods, however, the beach is the easiest place to spot and to tame them. They eat eggs as their preferred taming food and the quality of the egg determines how effective the taming process is. Oviraptors are an easy knockout tame, but they don't have a lot of health. So before you go hunting with your ascendant long neck rifle and accidentally one-shot them with a trank arrow, it's better to use a slightly lower quality weapon. It's worth going for the highest possible level though and later mating them with each other to reach level 400, which maximizes their range. You can use low level animals to collect eggs only within a specific breeding group. However, it's very crucial to provide oviraptors in your base with a source of food or they will simply eat the eggs they have collected for you. Dung beetles spawn in caves on the island, which might seem a little bit intimidating at first glance. I tempted our first dung beetle on our server on day one. I went into the lower south cave armed with bow and arrows and dino poop. You can use the bow and arrow to take out spiders and centipedes when you encounter them. And dung beetles should be relatively close to the cave entrance as well, so with some luck you won't encounter any other enemy. Place the dino poop in your zero slot and feed it to the dung beetle until it's tamed. Then pick it up, hop on your flyer and yes you can hold it while you fly, don't ask me how, and place it in your base next to your other creatures. And that's it, you should start collecting and converting the poop right away. And it's truly amazing how user-friendly these developments in Ark Survival Ascendant feel. And you can clearly see that the modder who originally created Structures Plus has been part of the Ark dev team for several years now. This mod, which was originally designed to automate many of the tedious tasks in the game, has now made its way one way or another into the main game. And this is a huge win for all players, especially for those who never had access to mods in Ark Survival Evolved. The possibilities for automation help with the enjoyment so much. Automating repetitive tasks in a game like Ark, where it requires a fair amount of micromanagement, has a very positive impact on how we perceive the game and how much progress we feel we're making. 
If you spend the whole day filling up dung beetles and collecting eggs, you won't have much to show for it at the end of the day. By reducing these time-consuming tasks, you can devote more time and energy into exploring the map, venturing into caves or taming new creatures, and this is a win-win situation. I hope you like this little quick guide into the life and utility function of these two little critters who are now to become our new best friends. This is probably not the last quality of life change we will see in Ark Survival Ascendant and I'm excited for the future maps and creatures, especially what changes they will introduce there. But now grab some poop and get yourself a dung beetle.